The Bunahafu Regional Office of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency indicate that 22 out of the 27 assemblies in the region are benefiting from the community water system. In all, there are 2,798 drilled boreholes in the beneficiary communities. For proper management and accurate data collection and monitoring of the systems, the Regional Office of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency is now working with an e-data management system. The new system is expected to augment the operations of the agency. The Community Water and Sanitation Agency, CWSA, is to ensure the provision of safe drinking water and related sanitation services to rural communities and small towns in Ghana with support from donor partners such as the International Development Association of the World Bank, the agency continues to facilitate the implementation of the National Community and Sanitation Program using the decentralized structures at the district and community levels as stipulated. Their latest support is the provision of information technology equipment for data management in the community water system projects within Bruno Af region. It is made up of 40 desktop computers, 9 laptops, 36 UPS, 27 laser jet printers, 11 photocopier machines, and 11 scanners. They were distributed to the 27 assemblies of 8 municipalities and 19 districts for proper monitoring in the region. The regional director of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency, Mr. Stephen Opokutufo, said the equipment will aid the planning and implementation process. The Regional Coordinating Council also benefited from the package to aggregate all the information from the assemblies. The Regional Minister, Mr. Arikupuku, charged all officials to use the equipment for their intended purposes. Earlier in 2013, similar items including 11 Nissan pickup vehicles and motorbikes were distributed to the assemblies for the same purpose. The leader of the piloting team for the e-data management system, Dr. Tyra Kumasi, told GBC24 that the project, if effectively implemented, will ensure accurate and reliable data. The University of Ghana on Friday awarded various degrees to about 1,468 students who completed the 2013-2014 academic year. In a report, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ernest Aite, said the university intends to launch its strategic plan for the period 2014 to 2024 before the end of this academic year. This graduating class is made up of nationals from 35 countries across the globe, including Ghana. There were 1,278 postgraduate students, including 23 who completed Doctor of Philosophy programs. Other levels are Master of Philosophy, Master of Public Health, Executive Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, Master of Public Administration, Master of Arts and Master of Science programs. Some students in the graduating class also received bachelor's degrees in various disciplines. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Professor Ernest Aite, in his report for the academic year outlined various initiatives by the university and plans for the future. He drew attention to the fact that the university's assets are still being threatened by rapid urbanization and related growing demand for lands. The university is therefore updating its master plan for maximum benefit from the land available to it. Professor Aiti said the university's strategic plan for the period 2014 to 2024 has been finalized and will be launched before the end of the academic year. The plan has nine strategic priorities which should put the University of Ghana on the path to becoming a world-class research university and aims to help rethink the longer-term strategy for the university's development. As a precautionary measure against Ebola, the ceremony was held in a special way. Thank <laughs> you.